Hey new folks, this is Mike Bennett with 110knots.com with a brief review of some of the aviation applications for the Apple iPad 3G. This is my review of uh, Four Flight Mobile HD for the Apple iPad 3G. Um, it comes in uh, two different uh, varieties, a three-month subscription and a 12-month subscription. For the three-month subscription, it's $24.99, and for 12 months, it's $74.99, and the application is free from the App Store. Uh, to load the application, just click on it. When it loads up, it loads up with the uh, previous um, page you were on. In this case, it's an airport page. It's showing me my weather for Morristown Municipal Airport. Uh, it gives me uh, all my airport information right there. Terminal area forecast for my area airports. If my airport doesn't have a terminal area forecast, it also tells you where it's from and how old it is. Uh, winds aloft. Now all the weather data is downloaded via 3G or Wi-Fi. So if you're out of range, meaning that you're in the airplane, uh, you're not going to be able to get updated weather today. Uh, maybe someday. We can only hope that somebody's going to come up with a uh, data uplink for the airplane. Uh, we can go over here to frequencies. We have all the airport frequencies, and they're organized quite nicely. Uh, runways, runway information, and the uh, procedures associated with them. All the procedures on the airport, and these are all your uh, government charts. You can go ahead and pull up a procedure right here. Let you know what it looks like. You can uh, zoom in, pinch out. Um, now it does resize it to the size of the screen which makes it slightly smaller than the original chart, but uh, it does work quite well. A few nice features up here are the ability to print wirelessly via AirPrint. Uh, you can also favorite the chart. You can unfavorite the chart. Look at your favorites. Pull up your favorites. Look at your most recent charts. Pull them up. Lock the chart. And then when we lock the chart, you can uh, you can uh, move things around, which is nice. Unlock the chart and go back. Really nice features there. NOTAMs, this is another, uh, the NOTAMs are downloaded via the uh, data connection. So again, if you're outside of data range, you will not see updated NOTAMs, but this gives you all your NOTAMs on your area airports or on your airport that you're looking at. Terminal uh, TFRs, ARTC, services, for your airport, lodging, restaurants, more, operating hours, contacts, cycle, and such. Now we're going to move on to uh, the maps, but before we do that, we're just, uh, we can favorite an airport, unfavorite an airport, and look at your favorite airports. And also, a uh, really nice little feature right here, it shows you your uh, weather conditions, or VFR, and gives you a quick summary of what's going on there. So again, nice features. Now we're going to move on to the map section. Um, so now that we're on the map page, uh, it's going to show us where we are. Uh, right now it shows us as, as that little blue dot, and this also shows us the accuracy. So it says that uh, it's accurate within 10 meters. In the airplane, I've seen 10 meters and 5 meters. That's normally the standard. Uh, if you leave the application, uh, it'll pop up to 30, 30 meters or so. Uh, right now it's popping up to 30 because I'm in a basement. Um, the charts are pretty much self-explanatory. You can see all the charts. It has all the charts that you selected to download in the settings. Um, I've selected all the charts in my area so that I have them. I don't have the uh, high altitude charts because my plane's not flying that high. Um, we can go through here. We can pinch and zoom and scan in route, which is a really nice feature. Um, I'm going to stick with the IFR type flying. Let's say a real life scenario. We wanted to go fly somewhere. We were uh, on our way down to Manassas, Virginia, for instance, from Morristown Airport. And uh, we were given a clearance such as Solberg, Victor 30, East Texas, Victor 39, Mural, AML, Direct. All right, so back in the old days, we'd have to go over and obviously we have to know where Solberg is, find Solberg, find Victor 30 off of Solberg, uh, see if there's any turns, and there is one. It's called Bloppy Intersection. We'd have to put Bloppy in and everything else, which we still do on a regular GPS. But what happens if you don't know where Victor 30 is and you're having a hard time finding it? Now what we can do is we can go through here. I'm going to clear out my current searched route because it had Teterboro in there because I was looking at Teterboro before. 
And let's say I wanted to go from Solberg, SBJ, space, Victor 30, space, East Texas, ETX, space, Victor 39, 39, URL, M-U-L-R-R, space, AML, space, K-H-E-F, search. And what it's going to do now, it's going to find all the waypoints in route. So it's going to give me every single waypoint. It won't give me just the turning waypoints, which I kind of wish it did. But what we can do now is we can go through, we can look at our route, we can see where the turns are and see if they're included in our clearance or they're ones we have to add into our GPS. And of course we can go through and we can add other ones. So we can see here on Victor 30, we have the bloppy intersection that makes up that turn. We also have Lana and we have Troxel, which are two other ones that they, uh, they like to route you to, especially Lana. Um, when we were actually in route on this very same flight and we had it all loaded up, uh, they had us go to one of these uh, waypoints and it was uh, pretty useful to be able to find it right here um, to be able to narrow it down and go direct to it. So for instance, let's say we were flying out of Morristown and they said proceed direct East Texas instead of going to uh, Solberg and Victor 30 and all that. So all we have to do is select on East Texas here. It brings us right to East Texas and it gives us an option to go direct. So we want to go direct. They plot our new course for direct to East Texas. It says fly a heading of 277 and it'll give us a real track when we're moving. Right now it's showing a little error because uh, trust me my house isn't moving. But uh, in either case so it shows it there. Um, and uh, that's basically it. So now we can go direct from there. And let's say we wanted to go back to our position where, where we're located now. We just click on the little icon there. And it puts our airplane uh, pretty much where we're at. Another nice feature of the uh, map page is uh, let's say you're flying along and you want to reroute yourself. Let's say, uh, let's make it realistic. Let's say they gave you direct to uh, East Texas, but they amended it back. We're going to have to have you go direct Solberg again. So you can click on your course. And you can drag it right to Solberg and just drop it there. And what it's going to do is load the active waypoints. Solberg VOR DME, yes. And then let's say we wanted to go back and fly Victor 30 as well. We can click and drag it right to Bloppy and add Bloppy in there. We have to select waypoints and then now Bloppy's in there. So now we're back to where we were before. We have Solberg, Bloppy, East Texas. Now what we're going to do is go over some of the pre-flight uh, planning functionality of uh, Four Flight Mobile HD on the Apple iPad 3G. Um, from the map page we can go through here. Uh, most of the options over here are on the right and the ones up top um, are only available on the ground because they require um, data connection. So you need to have 3G or Wi-Fi in order to display these maps. But uh, if you do, they're great maps to have. You have uh, radar, so we can see what's going on in the radar environment. Satellite, satellite information, it gets better. Flight rules, there they go. I'm going to zoom out a little bit just to show some of the flight rules. Winds, it shows the winds with the barbs. Visibility, ceiling, ceiling is my favorite. So this shows us all of our ceilings in, uh, I would say, hundreds and then thousands of feet. So 4,700 feet, 800 feet, 2,300, 3,500, and then obviously VFR, marginal VFR, and IFR. Sky coverage, you can see complete, partial, temperatures, dew point spread. It's nice for your, uh, your night VFR flying and also night uh, uh, IFR flying. It's nice to know. Dew point spread. Let's see if it displays. Oh, there it is. Cancel. My favorite feature is cancel. So there's your uh, dew point spread of 8 degrees, 7 degrees, 3 degrees, 4 degrees. So that's a nice feature. Lightning in the area. You know, it's winter time. It's kind of tough to find any of that. Um, 100 low lead fuel costs. There you go. 
so you can see what all your fuel costs are in the area so if you're flying your own airplane and you want to look for a uh, cheap place to fly it's uh, that's a great tool right there um, imagery we have uh, pre-flight we have available uh, all the uh, uh, all the NOAA uh, website stuff we also have uh, international they also have some international stuff in here they have uh, Nav Canada Mexico Europe um, really nice stuff South uh, South Africa so a lot of a lot of very nice uh, nice tools available to you on the ground. Obviously, this stuff you're not going to be able to get when you're flying, and it is a little slow when you're uh, on 3G. But if you're uh, like me right now on Wi-Fi, it's uh, pretty fast. Downloads pretty quickly. Uh, file flight plans. You can file flight plans right from uh, uh, for Flight Mobile HD. I don't use it. I use um, FlightPlan.com because I like the routing feature. I like uh, the fact that they give you uh, past ATC routes. This does not. But if you wanted to, you can go through here and follow a new flight plan. Let's say it was a VFR flight plan. You didn't care about uh, the routing so much. You can go through and do your routing and ask all your questions. Downloads. This is where you download all your charts. You could also go and select new charts to download. So this is where you select what states you want as far as your uh, uh, approach procedures, VFR charts, IFR charts, high altitude charts. Um, and you can also see that everything else is downloaded. You can delete charts. It'll prompt you when you have to download stuff for updates. Your account information. And then you have a scratch pad here. And the scratch pad is type or draw. And uh, that's basically it. That's my uh, review of mobile, uh, Four Flight Mobile HD. Great application. Definitely worth the money. It's not that much money and offers a lot to, uh, to uh, the pilot. Thanks. Bye.